Hey everyone, it's Bill Nash. Good to see you all. Um, I wanted to let you know about a project that I'm starting to work on right now that uh, it's kind of stoking my fires a little bit. It's a music education program that I've come up with that I don't think anybody else has ever really done. Uh, I've been a lifelong teacher of music, mostly the guitar for many years. I'm also a music theory maven, so I end up spending a lot of time thinking about music theory. But the guitar is the, the biggest force for me, and I've, I've taught many people since oh, pro almost 50 years now. And uh, for me, having knowledge about music is so incredible because I love to impart it to people. It's just something that I love to do. Um, so I liberally give away my, my gifts, my knowledge, because I want everybody in the world to make music. I want them to all be musical. And there's really not very many reasons why we're not all musical. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is basically everything that I've ever done educational-wise on the guitar has been because of MS. And I've had multiple sclerosis. I'm in my 37th year now with MS. I was diagnosed in 88. And basically, it basically has formed everything that's ever happened good for me. I know that's a weird thing to say, but it's been kind of a blessing. And um, because of my MS, I've had to make a, accommodations for myself uh, on the guitar since I'm left side weak. When I overheat, my left side shuts down. And kind of important, the left hand is pretty important on the guitar uh, for guitar people. So when I'm in the, the middle of Kerrville and it's 98 degrees under my canopy, a lot of times I can't do much more than put a finger or two down on my guitar and try to play it. So I've figured out how to do this with altered tunings on the guitar and multiple capos. They have these little three string capos, which basically have made my existence for the last 30 years pretty much um, because it helps me play the music that I want to play. Anyway, um, this new project that I've worked on for the last few weeks happened because of Kerrville this year. Uh, one of my friends came up to me and sat down in my circle and uh, during the day, basically when there wasn't a circle, and tried, was having trouble playing some chords. And uh, he had three strokes about four years ago, ischemic strokes, and uh, it's been a real hard road for him. But when I was sitting there with him, I said, why, why am I not helping this man? Because I've got the, I've got the ability to do this. So I said, Paul, give me a, this is Paul Porter's my friend. I said, Paul, give me a couple of your favorite songs that you can't play really well right now, and let me see if I can make them easier for you. So he gave me two songs, uh, one uh, Michael Elwood song called The Major, and uh, a Tim Henderson song called Old San Antonio Road. I took Old San Antonio Road first, and basically I found uh, the video on YouTube, because everything's on YouTube these days, and I, I figured out the chords, and Paul had already had chords on the top of his page, so he was working on it. But I figured out a place where I could put that that would do the chords that he had easier for him. And then I used the three-string capo. Um, basically, what the three-string capo does for me is it allows me to use one and two fingers sometimes when I'm not playing well or when I don't feel well. So... I took this song and I built it. I charted it out. I basically uh, set it up so that he could use one and two finger chords. He had to get a three string capo because he didn't have one at that time. And I gave him one. And uh, he's it still is it's still on the process for Paul. He's gonna it's gonna take a little time, and I'll probably have to sit with him a few more times to give him some help because the the strokes just don't kind of make him a little hazy. Uh, when it comes to music. So anyway, this project is called this, this uh, Simplified Songs Project. And it's, uh, why would this come up at this point in life? It happens because people are getting older and they're having injuries and finger problems and medical issues, uh, neurological issues. Um, these are all things that I can do some, some work on and maybe help them out to get to the point where they can still play. Um, I basically have been teaching my altered tunings and multiple capos class for the last 20 years. And it's been very rewarding to be able to 
give people some new tools to put in their tool chests uh, musically. Um, but really, this, this one really means something to me as far as it's going to be, I think it's going to be beneficial to a lot of people. I've taught it at a lot of places around the country at song schools. I've taught at the Kerrville Folk Festival for the last nine years. I've taught, taught at the Rocky Mountain Folks Festival song school for 16 years uh, this year. Um, I've taught at uh, the Montrose Folk Festival. I've taught in the Houston Songwriters Association. I've taught at uh, Own Your Own Universe, uh, Terry Hendricks organization. I love teaching my classes, and this is just going to be another one that I'm going to be able to give to people. It's, uh, I think this is going to be a game changer, changer for people with physical issues. I really believe, I believe that everybody should play. So my Patreon page is patreon.com slash Camp Nashville, all one word, no spaces. And uh, I've changed the name now of my Patreon to be Camp Nashville and the Simplified Songs Project. So it basically covers all the boat, all the gammon of what I'm trying to bring across. Uh, my hope with my Patreon is that some of you will see the value of this and you will want to come in and join me in, in supporting this uh, effort because it's to me it's going to be it's going to be a big thing in the future you'll be helping me bring this thing to full fruition and I'd love to be able to put this out as a big as a big deal um, so if you check out my patreon page and if it speaks to you come join us um, three dollars seven dollar uh, a month donations thirty six dollars a year for three dollars your donations will help immensely. The one thing about Patreon that most people uh, say when I'm talking to them about joining my Patreon is that they've got a lot of friends that are on Patreon. And of course, nobody can re really make a living anymore at uh, the music industry because of the streaming and all that ridiculousness. But I have at least five people on Patreon that I follow and give money to every month. And, uh, my, my question to myself at the beginning of this was, is this worthy of my Patreon? Is it worthy of asking people to come in and help me with donations? And I say, yeah. I mean, there's really nothing else that, that stokes my fires the way this does. And I'm ready to propagate this to everybody in the world, hopefully, that wants to take it. And uh, I guess that's about it. Um, Enjoy the examples. I'm going to be up here, uh, three examples of songs that I've done with the charts. And uh, get in touch with me or go down my Patreon and see what you think. And join us if you would. We'd love to have you. Thanks very much. Peace to y'all. Take care. Bye-bye. Here is my uh, setup for Landslide. This is the uh, old Fleetwood Mac song. Uh, you can see the cape for, uh, full capo on the third fret, the three string capo on the uh, seventh fret and uh, from the low uh, side of the guitar, the low note side of the guitar. And basically you see the little dots, those are my fingerings. If you see the circle there, that means it's an optional note. But a lot of it is uh, just dots. This is the setup for landslide. I have a full capo on the fourth fret and a three string capo on the eighth fret. This is in my key basically for my voice. I can't sing like Stevie Nicks, of course. But basically the chords are like this. I took my love, I took it down. Climbed a mountain and I turned around And I saw my reflection in a snow-covered hill Till the landslide brought it down Here's the chorus Well, I've been afraid of changing Cause I built my life around you but time makes you bolder, even children get older, and I'm getting older too.
Okay, this next song is another one that uh, Paul gave me. This was the Michael Elwood song called The Major. And you can see my diagram again. Basically, the full capo is on the first fret on this song, and the three-string capo is on the uh, third fret on the low note side of the guitar. And notice the black dots. Those are my fingerings for those chords. Every one of them is on there. And it's all very simple. And I just want to play a little bit of this for you so you'll get a, a, a feel for it. This is Michael Elwood's song, The Major. Well, the first place I saw him was the last place you'll see him. He's watching the shows, the satellite beams in with a stack of back issues, a penthouse in boxes, and field and stream on his knees. On the wall of his den Hang the heads of a dozen Slow deer he shot With his fool for a cousin The guns are kept oiled But the spirit has spoiled And now all he's killing is time And on the day that he dies They'll shoot guns in the sky the Air Force will strike up the band For the Major who knew The Colonel who flew The future through the skies of Japan Everything's one finger Except this chord right here Okay that's the major. Okay, this so next example is a, a song by Steve Gillette and Tom Campbell called Darcy Farrow. I think uh, uh, John Denver made this a, a, a big hit back in the day. The full capo here now is on the uh, fourth, it's on the fifth fret on the diagram, but it's actually on the fourth fret for me. And you can see again the dots, and if you look really close, you can see some arrows in there. There's a way that I'll make a run or something in there. And I, that what that's the way I can write it down. No man, Darcy Farrell. Where the walker runs down to the Carson Valley Plain, there lived a maiden. Darcy Farrell was her name. The daughter of old Dundee and fair was she. The sweetest flower ever bloomed o'er the rain. Her voice was as sweet as the sugar candy. Her touch was as soft as a bed of goose down. Her eyes shone bright like the pretty light. That shine in the night out of Yarrington Town. Anyway, that's my example. Everything you saw there was one finger. <laughs> 